Is that good enough to get the town hall? Come on, warden. Shoot it, 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 shoot it. We got no more spells at all. Welcome back, ladies and gamers, to the next OP matchup. Navi versus Chasmac EA in the Goated series. Upper bracket semi-finals in this double elimination tournament, and Chasmac EA are going in with the first hit. Doing an early warden blimp. Ooh. What's in there? Clone spell, archers, okay. Invis, rage spell, lots and lots and lots of super archers doing their thing in the middle of the base here. Trying to gut out the core, trying to go for that town hall. They're able to hit the rage tower on the backside as well. One more invis there, and we get the town hall. We get the champion. One more invis on top of that, although we didn't hit all the archers there. Oh. Well, I guess he got the left expo and the right expo and the archer queen. That's good value. That's good value. Look at this. The ward is still alive as he drops the king and queen. Okay. Oh, he gets targeted by the scatter, though. Look at the little baby apprentice warden here to help out. Warden E Titan actually going to take out the scatter, and the warden's still going to stay alive. Ooh, that's nice. He's got a lot, a lot of super barbarians to use. The only thing I don't like is he's saving the eagle for last, and that eagle might do a lot of damage. Oh, never mind. Maybe he's not saving the eagle for last. Alright, Golem and Champion over here to go take out the eagle and the monolith. Wall break on the right. Super Barbarians just sprinkling them in around as needed. Down goes that monolith. Cool. King, Queen, Warden, and Baby Warden on the top side. Or did the Baby Warden die? Bro, that Baby Warden, the Apprentice Warden, actually dies so fast. Sometimes he gets out in front when he's not supposed to. He's actually so bad. A little Tesla farm on the back end, but we got so many freaking super barbs. It's crushed, guys. Absolutely crushed. Like, completely demolished. Wow. Royal Champion dies, but we got so many troops around. <laughs> Look at this! An army of freaking super barbs that he didn't even need. Crushes the last multi, and it's a three-star for Chasmac EA. Morio in first today for Na'Vi. And he's bringing some super witches. Okay. Might be the first time we've seen Morio use super witches. Early lightning spells. Take out an inferno tower, a bomb tower, and a builder hut. Flame Flinger working on the left side of the base. Gonna try to distract the mortar here, and he is able to. Nice. Warden fighting the king, but with a headhunter, he's looking okay. Down goes the mortar, and the flame flinger should be able to get a lot of value now. Perfect. Two Teslas, but the warden and the balloon's gonna be able to take those out, no problem. No problem at all. And, oh, here we go. We're already getting started. Not gonna wait at all. Cool. Super Witches Queen gonna make their way up toward the top. Maybe inside for the eagle and continue wrapping around the right side here. Alright, alright. He doesn't have any wall breakers, only one jumping spell. Jumping spell is gonna go right on top of the sweeper, I can tell. Probably. Maybe. Potentially. Flame Flinger going for the scatter shot. There's the Barbarian King to help push the witches inside toward the Inferno Tower. And they perfectly go in. Now we can see that jump spell right on top of the sweeper. Oh yeah. Rocket Balloons, Lava Hound out of the CC. One Super Witch walked into a really awkward compartment. She's gonna get stuck on a wall or something. King Pop's ability. Not going for the scatter shot. Could cause some issues here. Oh yeah, yeah. Most of the witches and the queen taking the jump now as the other witch got stuck on the wall, like I said earlier. We still got the ward ability. Still got the flame flinger putting in a little bit of work on the left side of the base. Super witches are starting to split up in a few different directions. We're going to use one more rage to get to the town hall. Big boys are trying their best. Archer queen going to get there eventually. Super minions out of the defensive clan castle and the royal champion from the right side to come help out. How does this super witch go around the wall like that? What the? Before the town hall was even dead. That was wonky. Super minions take out the champion on the left side. Queen on defense over here. Gets stuck on a big boy. We sneak in a headhunter. Take her out. It's looking decent. Can we get through this bottom section? 38 seconds. Still got four super minions on the right. Still got the queen, the warden, a couple of healers, the royal champion with ability, with an invisibility spell. It's looking crushed for Morio. Look at that, guys. Super witches still work when you're as good as Morio. 
Jeez, pops the queen ability. Plenty of time left over. 97, 98, 99, and 100%. Three heroes still left over as well. GG's, and we are all tied up. Three to three. Yada is in with the second attack for Chaz Mac EA. Little super bowler action. Okay. Warden walk on the right side of the base. Baby dragon up at one o'clock. Sweet. Now the poison lizard here with the warden is an interesting choice. I guess he just does not want the owl because he's going to be warden walking into that air defense right away. Not that important of a choice though. Whatever pet you use with the warden here, you're probably expecting to die early. We're not using a flame flinger it seems. He's got a battle drill currently activated. I have a feeling he's going to enter in toward the scattershot section. And just rely on a good jump placement to get access to the town hall. Now that rage was kind of wonky because the warden's not even in it. Only the healers are in it. Which doesn't actually seem to be ideal. But finally the warden picks up the wizard tower. We drop the king and the witches to funnel. The queen to pull the warden. The ice golem is in. And here we go. Queen steps over the wall, gonna be able to shoot the champion. Bowlers help out as well. Everybody making their way toward the scatter. Second ice golem is inbound. Where do we drop the jumping spell? Right there on top of the sweeper. It's gonna give us access to pretty much everything. Okay. Now, skeleton spell for the monolith was late. The king got targeted, so he's gonna have to go with the free spell. Ice golems in the defensive clan castle gonna take us a minute to get through those. But as long as the healers keep the super bowlers alive, we're still looking alright. Battle drill is in with the king and the witches. Alright. Invis for the bowlers. And the E-Titan. There's one E-Titan in the mix there. They're making their way toward the town hall section. We still have the warden ability. We're going to pop it right there. Everybody's safe for nine seconds. Down goes the town hall. And how much more value can we get? The battle drill making its way over to the expo. We drop the, the royal champion on the left side. That battle drill is actually putting in work, man. I saw it take out several defenses. Now the troops pop out right in the scattershot compartment. E-Titan able to one-shot the skellies. Queen, warden, able to get through at least the multi. Yes, there goes the queen ability. Take out maybe one of these heroes at least as well. That'd be such a huge bonus. It's looking decent for Yada. They're trying to take out the king, doing as much damage as they can, so the champion won't have to worry about him. Oh, headhunter in there to help take out the queen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Super Bowler still alive. King, Yeti. E-Titan walking around the bottom side of the base. That, that one headhunter still alive. Gonna be able to help take out the king. It is crushed. Another beautiful plan here from Chazmac EA. Gonna be able to get it done and plenty of time left over. Man, these guys showed up to play today. Gaku is in with some air spam for Navi. E drags, super drags. Okay. E drags on the bottom side. Gonna be able to take out these archer towers. Flame flinger on the right side. Sure. Trying to distract this mortar with a yeti, and we do. Maybe? Yes, we do. The two E-Drags gonna be able to take out this ta this eagle. With the rage. Oh, oh, look at that. Juicy value. You probably could have done this with one E-Drag. That's kind of crazy. Which side do we send the dragons from? Trying to take this air defense. Does he get it? Yes, wow, okay. Oh, we're going right at the top side of the base. Interesting. Zap Quake behind the town hall gets the monolith. Super drag, it's almost like a super drag Sui with the warden to go for the town hall section. He's just picking apart the base, one compartment, one corner at a time. Very interesting. This E-Drag is going to get through the expo even. Being a little slow with the super drags now. Ooh, pops warn ability, rages up. There's more traps there. Tornado trap slows him down. Can he get the town hall quickly? He's gonna go with the invis. Flame flinger picks up the bomb tower. It should die now to the queen, but whatever's in it might take out the queen. The queen's low on health. King and queen on the left side of the base. The queen died to the fire damage. That's so clutch. That's so clutch. Now he just has to worry about this left side of the base, the middle multi, and CC troops. Pops King ability. Here comes the Lava Hound. He's got a poison. He sends the champion in this compartment as well. The Flame Flinger is still pushing. Okay, well, there's a Super Dragon there. 
Champion Diggy going to take out the scatter shot while the queen gets stuck on the lava hound. 55 seconds. Does he have cleanup? The right side is taken care of. The left side, uh, he's got the heroes over here, but they're stuck on hound. They're stuck on defenses right now. 44 seconds. Go, champion, go. Diggy gonna stun. The expo will drop. It is a crushed base for Gaku. Bro, he's picking apart these bases. Using air spam, but in a very controlled manner. It's so cool watching him do it. Plenty of time left over. And yet another three star. CMG. Chazmack EA in with their next attack. Okay. Little zappy zappy action. What do you take out there? A rage tower? Uh. What was it? Was it scatter shots? Was that two scatter shots he could reach with the same zaps? Looks like it. That might be a base building error. Oh well. Warden Lalo from the top side. Okay. Okay. Town Hall's not awake. The owl could potentially wake it up off of a bounce. Um. We rage, we pop war in a bill. Oh, the town hall woke up! One balloon. Oh, four, five balloons. Tornado trap. Wow, look at that. Town hall secured. Is there any way he can get the monolith as well? He's trying to get the multi and the monolith. The balloons are low. The balloons are really low. He's going to be lucky if he at least gets the multi. He might not. Oh, that's awkward. One HP, and he really wanted it. You could tell. The owl? Yes, okay, he at least gets the multi with the owl. That's that's a big bonus. Getting that multi is kind of huge. King, queen, E-Titan, and a baby warden from the left side. Sure. That Lalo got quite a bit. But this multi, I mean, this monolith staying up is going to be awkward because it might be able to reach the king here. Queen's going to dip out around toward the outside. King gonna have to go to ability and oh what is that a battle drill? Oh let's go. Look at this. Battle drill gonna stun the monolith. Try to take it out. And it does. Clutch. Champion from the bottom side. Monolith going across for the other sweeper. And the champion got distracted, so the the, the battle drill can actually still put in some work. Yo, he's handling this perfectly. Baby Warden's still alive, helping the champion and the queen. Battle Drill troops come out. They're going to be able to take care of some of these defenses on the right side. This is crushed. Bro, Chazmack EA are unstoppable today. Both teams are unstoppable so far. Oh my gosh. What an amazing match. All four heroes... No, the Warden's dead as heck. But the other three heroes are still alive. Still pushing through. Impressive performance from some from both these teams so far. That zap value, I'm going to take a look at it again. I think it was both scatters and a rage. Honestly, yeah, that's a base building error. This feels like a legends base that they decided to use in war for some reason. Let's look at that zap value again. Yeah, look at that. Both scatters and an eagle and a rage tower. That's way too much value to give away with zaps. Good base identification though from Chazmak. Kazuma is in with some queen charge bacon with a recall. Ooh. Alright, let's see how he's going to use the recall spell. Where he's going to use the recall spell. And what the heck he's going to be able to do with the recall spell. We're waiting. Be impatient. He takes the full 30 seconds. Queen on the 12th side of the base. Here we go. Healer's on her. Gotta fight the king right away. One headhunter. GG. Let her get through that barbarian king. Beautiful. Yeah, how much do we let her get before we recall her? She gets the ward statue. She's got the rage. She'll get the expo. Do we want the scatter shot? I guess that would make sense. Yeti on the left side. Yeti might pick up an archer tower. Let queen get the scatter shot. Okay. Then recall. Then drop her on the left side. <laughs> so she can get both scatter shots. I like it. I like it. Queen gets the cannon. We're gonna freeze. The rage effect is gonna expire on defense. She picks up the wizard tower. She'll get the other scatter shot. Some sneaky goblins doing some funneling. 
He's got a battle drill currently activated. He's going to drop the battle drill from 12 o'clock, bro. I, I just have a feeling tingling in my toes. That battle drill is going to go take out the eagle. Am I right? Poco Loon, Hog Rider, trying to get the full CC pool to go to his queen. There's three ice golems. They're going to go to the queen. Those archers going to the healers. A little awkward. King's on the right side of the base. There's the poison spell. Oh, the queen's hitting the queen. That's a little awkward. At least she's in the poison. And look at that. I was right. My spidey senses are working today. Battle drill in at 12 o'clock to go take out the eagle compartment. Queen with another wall breaker. Where's that wall breaker going? Oh, it got frozen. King on the right side. Already going to ability, but he took out the champion. One more wall breaker, and Queen's going to have access to that multi and the monolith. Ooh, that's juicy. That's juicy. Did he have super hogs? Or those super hogs got, like, zero value. Queen going for the CC building. We're going to have to hog into... Oh, he's super hogging into the right side. Or normal hogging into the right side. This could be sketchy to get the town hall, guys. I'm a little worried, actually. Pops the Warden ability. He's running out of spells. Still has a champion to use. Drops the champion from the bottom side. The Town Hall Invis spell. Is that good enough to get the Town Hall? Come on, Warden. Shoot it, 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 shoot it. We got no more spells at all. No more spells. We got RC ability. Pop the RC ability for the Town Hall, please. Please. One, two, three. Yes! Town Hall secured! With only five seconds left on the clock. Woo! Kazuma. Cutting it close, and he's going to time fail for the three star. It's a 93%. Rip. Kuma is in with the next attack for Chaz Mac. Bringing us some Lalo. Six lightning spells, one earthquake. Okay, cool. There's the quake zap. Expo, multi, go down. Yeti wizard funnel on the bottom side. Queen and Giant. Chasmac EA currently have the lead after the third round of attacks. Nine stars to eight. The only fail so far in this match was that Kazuma time fail. So pressure's on Kuma now to keep the triple train rolling for Chasmac EA. <laughs> Queen doing her little suey thang on the left side here. Rocket Balloon testing for traps. Battle Blimp over the Monolith. Sweeper's going to be annoying and hit, but that's okay. We just wanted the Battle Blimp to take out the Monolith. All right. It's also going to get CC pool. Ice Golem with the Queen. King to go toward the champion. Sure. Wall Breaker was successful for the Queen. There's the poison spell. Beautiful poison that actually hit everything. Headhunter to help the King out. Does King go back inside for the cannon? Yes, he does. Beautiful, because that means he's going to get the scatter shot as well. Now, this Queen might not pick up the Eagle and the Multi. Oh, these Ice Golems are distracting. They're freezing. We got no more Invis spells. Already got the Lalo moving in on the top side of the base to go toward the town hall. Relying on this queen to get a lot of the middle of the base. She might just barely get the eagle. He's going to invest a free spell. He really wants her to get that multi as well. Actually, she doesn't have to because we can send the champion there. Poison tower goes off toward the balloons. Uh, that could be troublesome. We pop war an ability. There's a lot of red bombs. There could still be a tornado trap. And there is. He might be in trouble here. Still has seven more balloons. Going to have to use them on the top side or the right side over here. As most of the balloons are going to die to the Gigabomb. There's the rest of the balloons on the right side. Go clear that corner. Champion in the core. Going to be responsible for a lot now if you want a three star. We got one haste, one freeze. Skeleton spell to distract the scattershot. Distract the enemy archer queen. Here comes our champion. She's going all the way up for the expo. Diggy's already dead, so we don't get that stun effect. We already used her ability. This is looking like a defense for Kazuma. He wasn't able to get it done on offense, but his defense is paying dividends today. Now, what did Kazuma get? A 93. Can Kuma beat the 93 here? I don't think he can. Currently at 80. Gonna get a little bit more. Mm. Not gonna get 93%, which means Navi can steal the lead with their next attack. We got Klaus, we got Stars coming up. If they triple the next hit, they can steal the lead again. This one archer is going to make this an 84% attack. But that's not good enough. Rip Mr. Kuma. He does indeed have time just to get that one more building. 
Very nice try. Stars is in. With the fourth attack for Navi. What's he got? A little bit of a low action. Okay. All right. Skelly Donut. Kick things off. Go for that CC building. Go for the monolith structure. Third invis. Down goes the monolith. He wakes up the town hall. I don't know if that was ideal. But the CC drops as well. Battle blimp. Take out the multi. Okay. Cool. What next? What next, Mr. Stars? There's a Barbarian King and the Queen. Sure. Now it looks like King is meant to take the Town Hall if he paths correctly. And Queen's gonna walk to the right, get the ar enemy Archer Queen and the Scatter Shot. Ooh, Ice Golem, Super Barbs, Headhunters, Balloons. Take out the Queen, set a little funnel for the Offensive Queen. King could get the Town Hall as long as the Defensive Barb King doesn't distract and it looks like he might. Do we have an invis spell? We don't, but we're gonna go with the freeze. Oh, that's juicy. Queen goes in. I'm still not convinced King has enough time to get the Town Hall. Only eight seconds with that Phoenix. Is that enough time to slap the Town Hall silly? Queen goes to ability. Come on, King. Get that Town Hall. Get that Town Hall. He doesn't get it. Uh-oh. Stars might be in big trouble, guys. Stars might be in big trouble, and he doesn't care. He's gonna Lalo with the Warden from the right side. Oh my gosh. Against the Sweepers, too. Sends the champion to the core. The town hall is getting repaired. The rage tower recovers. Oh. There's the freeze. Champion, diggy to stun. One more freeze. Yikes. Town hall does drop, but we don't got enough to get through the rest of the base, do we? Hmm. No more spell support. Scattershot gonna do a lot of damage here. Sweepers being so annoying. Tesla's on the outside, stalling up some of our balloons. Dude, if King got the Town Hall and he could have used the Champion with the Lalo, this would have been so wrecked. This would have been so wrecked. I feel like he should have used that one more freeze for the King to get the Town Hall. Instead of saving it for the Champion. Because look, he actually still gets so close. So close still. But it's not going to work. Navi are going to be relying on getting a defense. One more defense at least. And then Klaus to save the day. This one is going to be good percent though. We do make it above the 90% mark. There's 90 and... Does not get 91. Hades is in. With a lot of Inferno, baby dragons. A couple dragon riders and a baby warden as well with a clone spell. Uh, rocket balloons. Ooh. That's okay. He's still got the air defense. Ooh. Queen at 12 o'clock. Alright. Skeleton spell. Hello Tesla farm. Inferno babies from this left side. Sure. Baby warden with the king. The queen. Two skeleton spells over there to help out. Battle blimp is in. Warden ability popped on the left side of the base. Sure. Rage and clone over the town hall section. No tornado trap over there to stop him. Gets the town hall, gets the monolith, gets a little bit more value on top of that. Freezes up the rage tower and a builder hut. And does it again. This time hits a multi with it. Sure. There's another skeleton spell on the right. Okay. He loves to freeze this multi. Already froze it like three times. Going for the fourth one and that's his last spell. That will allow the Inferno Babies to take it out, though, which is going to be really good for the hero pathing. They just got to get inside for the scatter shot, And this should be GG, right? Maybe. We pop King ability on the right. Send the champion to help support. Baby Warden still alive with Big Warden. 
So that's a good shot of pulling through, but we got no more spell support. The king's still alive at full health. We do have a back-end headhunter that we're saving, still in his pocket, which is going to be nice. Might come in handy. If this is a triple, Chazmec EA win. The match is over. And it's looking pretty good. He's got RC ability. He's got queen ability. There goes RC ability. If RC picks up the expo, he's in really good shape. Does she path to it? Yes. Diggy going to stun it. Yes. RC gets the expo. Queen ability still intact. It's looking great for Hades. Chazmac EA. Crack the code against Navi bases. They're going to end with 14 stars today. And knock Navi down into the lower bracket. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Impressive performance from Chazmac EA today. There goes the queen ability. 98, 99, and 100% for another three star. Klaus Nose is in with some queen charge bacon for the last attack of the match with a recallation spell. Taking almost the full 30 seconds to think. Ups king for king, queen further down south. Two headhunters to help king fight king. Alright. Boom, healers on the archer queen. Pop that king ability. CC troops got pulled early. Is the Lava Hound really going to go to the king? That's kind of awkward. No big deal, I guess. Queen can just deal with it later. You have to rage already? He's trying not to. He's going to go with the freeze. He doesn't want to rage. Okay. Remember, he does have the recall spell. This is interesting. He's going to let Queen go in for the multi. After she takes the multi, he's going to recall her and do something else with her. He's got an earthquake spell, so I, I would think the flame flingers for the town hall. Yeah. My thinking would be right. I think after Queen gets the multi, he just recalls and drops her again over here on the left to go for the scatter. Unless I'm crazy. I might be crazy. Or he might drop her over here to walk around for the other multi. That could be a possibility as well. There's the recall, and okay. My, my first thought was right. Put her back on the outside, let her go get the scatter shot now. We are starting to run low on time, though. You cannot wait forever for her to get this value. So he goes with an aggressive rage. That'll allow her to fight the queen. Eagle Artillery wakes up, though. What's next? You gotta send the pig soon. 60 seconds on the clock. We're gonna go from the right side. Here we go. Piggies are in. Invis on the queen. Rage and warden ability. 51 seconds. Might need to just pop open the flame flinger. Yes, some super hogs coming out. Hopefully the giga poison can expire and it does just in time. Tornado trapped by the monolith. Rage tower on defense. No healing spells, but we do have a freeze for the core. A lot of base still to get through. Another rage tower going off. More hogs on the upper side of the base. 30 seconds to go. There's a freeze. Lots of headhunters from the left to try and help out. Oy. Where's his warden, bro? How does his warden die early? That's crazy. 16 seconds. It's a race against the clock. He's got some barbs on the bottom side. Wizard on the right side. Balloon sneaking in for the mortar. Go, go, go. 10. Nine, eight, seven. We still didn't get through the enemy champion. The offensive champion died, and it's going to be a time fail for Klaus Nose. Pops the queen ability, but runs out of time. Rip. At 95%. Nice try. But it falls short. And Chazmac EA with a better performance today. 14 to 12. 96.8 to 95.6.